Believe it or not, it is now September, sort of marking the end of summer, but meteorologist Kristen Emery says that doesn't necessarily mean we're leaving muggy weather behind. Kristen? Not at all. In fact, our humidity levels way up today over what we've had the past few days. And although it's the start of meteorological fall, we still have three more weeks of summer left. So don't put away the shorts just yet. You'll need them as we head through the rest of this week and this weekend. Right now we are looking at some drier conditions and a little peak of sunshine here and there. We had some showers that moved through overnight. A couple of these showers hanging on this morning south and east of the Pittsburgh area and then the cloud cover as well. But now that's all pushing off to the east and you can see we still have mostly cloudy skies, but just over the last hour we've had breaks for sunshine and then more clouds roll in. That's the way it'll be the rest of the day. So currently we're at 75 degrees, but look at this dew point all the way up there in the upper 60s. That's a lot of moisture in the air, so our relative humidity is at 76%. You can feel it when it walks out, just that wall of humidity. Temperature is still in the mid to upper 70s right now. Pittsburgh's at 75. We're already up to the upper 70s in Waynesburg, Washington, Connellsville, Morgantown, 74 in Catanning, Franklin, Clary, and Dubois a little cooler, only at 70 degrees right now. Here's a look at those dew points. You can see where it's a little more humid all the way down from Pittsburgh to the south upper 60s, even that 72 dew point. That's really muggy air across portions of Washington County. And the humidity forecast, well, if you can hang in there until Friday, we have very muggy conditions, almost extremely humid conditions. There you see when we hit 70. And then Thursday night into Friday, cold front sweeps through. Look at this. Very comfortable. That nice September weather sets in as we head into Labor Day weekend. So here's one reason why we have this warm, muggy air mass pushing into our area. There's that stationary front, and that will lift through our area as we head through Wednesday into Thursday. Then this trailing cold front sweeps in, gets rid of all of that humidity and moisture. And you see this low with the circle around it down off of the coast of Carolina. That's a new tropical depression. It's tropical depression number 15. A very active season. It's about 100 miles east of Cape Hatteras, but the good news is, although it's providing some high surf winds and uh, cloud cover, it's headed out to sea, away from land, so really won't damage anything, won't cause anyone any problems there. The uh, future cast model showing a couple of sprinkles this afternoon. I think this is overdoing it. If anything, we may have a stray shower left in the Laurel Highlands. But as we head toward tomorrow morning, that front lifting through the area is going to start a, a chain of a couple of waves of energy that could touch off an occasional shower, an occasional thunderstorm, off and on through the day tomorrow. Now on Thursday, the best chance as this cold front pushes in will be showers and storms in the second half of the day from lunchtime on. And then once that clears the area, we're in for a nice gradual clearing on Friday and beautiful weather for the Labor Day weekend. So partly sunny today, 83 your high, and then here's your seven day forecast. 80s all the way until Friday. Look at this, David, sunshine all the way through Labor Day weekend.